almost stands out even more than Herod, even more than Tobacco Vini. Hey what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do a re-review on this Red Tobacco. I think the very first time I did a review on this, I had a sample of it. And this was one of those fragrances that as soon as I smelled it, I was just like, man, it's right up my alley. It's super strong. I'm totally going to pull the trigger on this one. This is a super strong, spicy fragrance. One Probably one of the strongest, spiciest fragrances that comes to mind when I think of those two together. And I have several clones of this. I think Hafez 1984 by Alexandria. I think it's supposed to be an original creation, but in my opinion, it smells like 100% like this and then also Babylon fragrances tobacco rojo also smells really really similar to this in my opinion I would almost think that they were the same thing couldn't tell the difference between them things like that although Babylon fragrances claims that theirs is an, their own unique blend as well the notes we got here are cinnamon agarwood or oud saffron incense nutmeg green apple white pear patchouli jasmine tobacco Madagascar vanilla, amber, sandalwood, guyac wood, Haitian vetiver, and white musk. Generally, when I think about this fragrance, it actually does smell like a red spice 100%. All the clones of this, in my opinion, or the fragrances that smell like this, they all kind of have that red spicy smell, which is actually pretty unique that it comes out in there. But to me, it just smells like a sweet, spicy bomb. And usually when I think of spices, I think of something that's kind of spiced up and delicious or something that's like peppery and strong. This is more of the spiced up and delicious, but it has so much of the strength that it almost wants to be overpowering. It almost wants to be too much, but it doesn't really fully go there. You know, unless you wear this in the wrong situation you just spray this up maybe in the summer heat or something let's jump into the pros of this fragrance the pros the main reason i want to wear this is it's kind of like a winter powerhouse style fragrance it's so so strong it's so sweet it is definitely one of those fragrances that's so strong that you do have to kind of be a little bit careful not overdoing it like spraying let's say five six sprays and going right in the car with somebody this fragrance is meant to really breathe and really let people smell you in the deep winter or while other uh, fragrance smells are going around any other kind of smells are going around this is going to compete with it very good and you don't want it to be like i said an enclosed area with a with a very little breathing room because it is so strong and because it's so strong the dry down will get a lot more sweet and enjoyable in the dry down and then also its uniqueness and strength this just has a very very unique style smell i have smelled it a lot after smelling the clones but i think this is the first fragrance to create this kind of smell and it definitely does have its own unique smell it definitely smells a little similar to herod a little bit similar to tobacco vanille for sure but it has its own kind of smell and on top of that it just has really really strong strength and longevity and projection to me this kind of almost stands out even more than herod even more than tobacco vanille which i would already classify those as like well above average strength as it is so that's pretty much the pros guys super super strong and then in, in my opinion it's pretty unique and if you really have only smelled designer scents this in my opinion will definitely smell unique and like something you've never smelled before a lot of the same cons that you get with a really really powerhouse winter style fragrance you're probably not going to want to wear this in the heat or in any sort of summer because it's kind of off limits there and you don't want it to be like really really up close it could possibly have an, a slight off-putting vibe if you were to not let it have room to breathe or like I said, somehow you spray a bunch of this up and you go right into a small room. This is meant for a long, cold winter day where you're out doing a lot of stuff and you want a fragrance that's really going to last through it. That's what it's for. So really not for the heat, really not like right up in the same room. That's pretty much the only cons. Really enjoyable, spicy smell, and it's just absolutely maxed out with longevity and projection. For the smell rating, I would give this probably about an 8.5 for the smell. I really, really enjoy it. 8.5 is really, really above average to me. I start rating things about a 7.5 is something I actually like. An 8 is something I really, really like and respect. This is an 8.5. Likeability, I'm going to go with 8. If you wear this in the wrong situation, it's going to have a much lower likability. But generally, if you wear this in the right situations, it is very likable. And the more that it dries down, the more likable it gets. That really strong, spicy punch kind of dies down and it goes to a more of like the mids and it becomes more and more enjoyable. Longevity and projection, I had to give this an 8.5 to a 9 just because my main testing with this one was with Babylon Fragrances Tobacco Rojo, which they claim is 
not a clone of this but at the same time tobacco rojo rojo means red it's called like red tobacco in spanish so it's like of course it's copying this i don't know it's kind of weird but anyways tobacco rojo i think it lasts a little bit longer than this i had these insane stories with me and with my coworker. he would smell it for a few days he would smell it through like he would wash his clothes and he could be, was able to smell it after he washed it that was with tobacco rojo this one is really strong but it just doesn't seem like it's that extra level of insane that tobacco rojo was so if you looking for kind of like a budget version of this i totally recommend tobacco rojo but at the same time one of the best parts about this is its strength and it still does have its strength and it could just be my bottle here the situations for this this is really just kind of in my opinion a winter powerhouse style fragrance i mean i guess you could wear it a little bit in the office but you'd want to go one to two sprays like i said you probably would want to spray it up even before you get there this would probably be okay for a date uh, especially in the winter something again with something with a lot of room to breathe in the cold this probably would be good for a date a workout i probably wouldn't wear this one for a workout and if i did i'd probably go one to two sprays I would definitely give it a little breathing room in there but a really good winter powerhouse style fragrance it's not for the summer needs room to breathe but i really really do enjoy it let me know what you think of red tobacco let me know which fragrance i should review next one the road of 50,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of your guys' help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace